Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll show you some of the settings that you should actually change if you're getting a new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or the Note 10 uh, Plus. And I have been actually using this one for the last three days, uh, but I'll post my initial impressions video in a day or two. So if you have any questions regarding this Note 10 Plus, do post in the comment section below. But first, let's look at some of the settings that you should actually change if you're getting this one. So this is the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus, the bigger variant I have already posted an unboxing earlier. And the first thing that I noticed is that I have changed it, hence it's actually looking good in the home screen. Uh, but if you know, uh, go over here, this is the icon size that you generally have. And in my uh, frank opinion, this is actually really, really big, looks very ugly. And the, that's the first thing to change it. For doing that, go here, go to the settings. And the home uh, grid size that you have to change. Uh, it's default on this four by five. So you can uh, change this. And this way, it looks a lot better. I like this five by five. And this is what I'm using. And now, as you can see, it looks a lot better. Uh, even for the home screen, I've done that default. It was just too, too big. So that is the first thing you should change. And next, uh, I also uh, like this always on option uh, like this. Uh, and uh, by default, it's not switched on. And you really need this option because it does not have a physical LED notification light. And this is the first thing that you should enable. And uh, for that, you have to go over here and go to the display option and uh, over uh, here where did it go it is somewhere here just search for it always on i think so it might be in the uh, advanced options always on display yeah in the lock screen it is and enable this always on display option and go here and uh, sh set a schedule you really don't want it to be always on at night when you're sleeping for example for me me uh, i don't want it to be on at um, from midnight to morning seven o'clock so i've kept it like that and uh, by default it's tap to show so just change it i would say that will really help you and the next uh, important thing to change is uh, again uh, this is applicable only for the note 10 plus because this has the quad hd screen and by default for some strange reason uh, samsung likes to keep it on full hd plus uh, by default it is on the full hd plus uh, so again change it to the quad hd plus yes it will impact your battery a little bit but uh, i noticed that the battery life impact is less than about 30 minutes of sot but again when you're paying such a high premium for this quad hd plus screen why not enable it so enable it and apply so right now it's on quad hd and for most things i didn't notice a huge change but uh, for small text i uh, do notice that it's a lot more sharper with this quad hd plus option and uh, lastly there's also one more thing you have to change again it's a pretty fast phone and this comes with the new one ui and stuff and it's really fast you don't see any lag uh, but again uh, go to the uh, uh, what do you say advanced options it will be somewhere here advanced features and uh, here you have this option of reduce animation as you can see minus enable that's why whenever i just tap anything it just bounces and comes really really quickly like this and uh, that is due to uh, this reduce animation option and really it uh, speeds up your smartphone by reducing the option so uh, I would say highly uh, enable it and you'll drastically see the difference and you'll just feel that the phone is way faster. And now there's, there was uh, by default one annoying thing on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series. Yes, if you press this button, that's the power on off uh, button. Uh, and uh, by default, if you just, uh, uh, what do you say, just do like this, it goes to standby mode. But when you want to switch it off by default, you have to go over here and hit this and you get the power on off button. By default, what they had done is, if you press this power on off button for a while, I've changed it. It uh, switches on the big speak key, but fortunately you can actually change it. Again, to do that, go over here. I think so it's an advanced uh, settings again, and it's known as the side key. And by default, it is set to open, uh, what do you say? Uh, what do you say? Uh, sorry, big, uh, big speak on press and hold just change it to power on off and you can also change the double uh, press what you want by default it's on camera so again uh, many people were complaining about that you don't have the power on off button uh, it's there you can change it uh, as i've shown you as you can see 
now i get the regular menu uh, so again that is one thing that you should change and lastly this is a very small thing uh, this has uh, stereo speakers and actually they are pretty good uh, but by default i found it very strange that dolby atmos was not enabled so just go here in the quick settings and enable dolby atmos that will definitely give you a little more depth when you are watching videos so these were some of the quick uh, things that i feel you should change if you're getting the samsung galaxy note 10 or the note 10 plus if you have any other tips do share in the youtube comment section below and again, uh, guys again as i've mentioned i've been actually using this for now almost four days so i'll share my what do you say first impressions of what i feel about this one uh, but if you have any questions uh, do let me know uh, as a spoiler i would say if you really don't need that s pen uh, i would uh, frankly say that the galaxy s10 plus makes more sense again i had already posted my thoughts about the galaxy s10 plus but anyways if you have uh, some specific questions around this uh, s10 uh, what do you say note 10 and the note 10 plus do post them in the comment section below and i'll try to include those questions in the future video uh, of uh, this Note 10 Plus. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.